Hi everyone, today I'm going to be looking at a game I played as Thunderspeaker versus England 6. Uh, Thunderspeaker is one of the strongest, if not the strongest, spirit in the base game. Um, and the reason is because she has a lot of um, just built in tools that scale with Dahan. Um, and so really strong but you'll have some swingy games where like you'll get some events that just remove Dahan or something um, so kind of depends on luck of the draw I usually don't go for this particular opening but I see the top wetlands building and it strikes me as just like the perfect target for a manifestation of power and glory um, so just push in there and, and get rid of that. So great start. Um, and I think you could, like, I usually don't play on this board, I think, which maybe this board is kind of the best one to do. I'm not sure. I haven't played on, on, was this board D maybe? Yeah, I think this is board D. Um, but maybe, maybe it works. And, uh, I could use a sudden ambush to get rid of, um, the corner mountains. Are they exploring that corner mountains? Uh, I mean, suddenly you have the two buildings in the jungle, you have that corner wetlands, um, and the board's looking really clear, but I mean, you'll kind of see that, um, even England, like even if the island is this clear, England always finds a way to um, just build back. And I think that's by design. Like I, I don't think England is supposed to be like terror one victoried. So I get a decent event um i do like paying for this one well I, I usually pay for most events if i can um but this one just removes the fear card if you pay for it which i think is really good um i get a strife to put in that corner wetland so i i still have all of the blight left uh mountains are ravaging and then wetlands are gonna build again so um Uh, I get Porns of Disaster and Spawn with Words of Fire. Uh, Spawn with Words of Fire is great because it lets you play an extra card, and it also has Sun, Fire, and Air. Um, so it's kind of one of the perfect cards, I think, because getting to that third tier of the second and eight, where you can kill a city and a town, um, I think that's really important. In this matchup or I guess in most matchups but this one specifically uh, unfortunately we do get actually a really unfortunate event um, because if we were able to get rid of this like middle the town in the middle mountains I think the game would have been close to uh, I say that, but then suddenly there's a town and city and all the wetlands and coasts are ravaging. So, I mean, that's, that's kind of what happens with England. Just unable to generate enough fear or what have you, and suddenly uh, there's just a ton more buildings on the board. So with Thunderspeaker, you can definitely fight, but it's, it's always going to be a long game. And I think part of that is because you're generating a lot of your fear through like destroying buildings. Like I don't think you're usually going for um, traditional fear type cards. Um, and I guess that's that's what like these sun and fire type cards are. 
So sands are ravaging, that bottom sands is, is kind of out of the question. Um, I don't have enough energy for four card plays with Sprawn with Words of Fire. Um, don't have any water elements, um, so I can't even place a, a presence if I wanted to. But I guess I get a decent um, beast event. Fear cards end up saving me. So I'm trying to build up stuff for manifestation of power and glory. Um, I also do want to use this drought. somewhere. It lets me three towns and a city. So maybe that jungle or that corner wetlands, because wetlands is building after the coasts are ravaging. So it might make sense to try and take care of that as soon as possible. So I think I'm just deciding how I want to position the Dahan. Uh, yeah, I end up going for that corner wetlands. I, I don't think going for the jungle is useful because I already have presence there. I think what I'm thinking about, because there's two, yeah, there's there's two explorers in there. So if I do... Yeah, if I do the wetlands, then it'll just blight again from the coastal ravage. But if I do the jungle, then it does blight, but it won't blight twice. All right, sands are building. That's fine. Um, I am kind of worried about this wetlands. Uh, once I get... Well, I get Manifestation of Power and Glory, but like these three cards together don't really do all that much. Uh, and ideally, like I would want to deal with the corner wetlands. Um, so I guess I, I just ended up playing these. I use these three cards, the three air, plus the air on the top track lets me do the innates fast. There's two towns in that corner wetlands plus a city. So I would need, well, and then Words of Warning has, has three defense. So I think what I want to do is do some sort of combination of set an ambush and gather the warriors. So I apologize in advance if some of my turns take a while just because I'm trying to figure out like how to best kind of maneuver to hunt around. Um, so the innate now is fast and I get to kill a town for every two to Han in the land. So there's two towns, so I need four to Han in there. Um, the two to Han over in the sands are kind of not doing all that much. Yeah, so I, I move them over to the coast. Uh, I put one preemptively in that other wetlands so that I could maybe do um, lead the furious assault. Okay, so I, I do the southern ambush to gather. Yeah, it's Furious Assault and then Words of Warning to take care of that. Um, escalation, I do need to add 
or no, no, this is a, this is an event. So I think I'm just adding things into the middle mountains for now. Cause wetlands are going to be a problem. They still build, which is kind of annoying. Uh, sands is not super important right now, although they are kind of, it is building up a little bit. Um, Thunder Speaker does have enough power to do that. Call to Isolation is a great card to get. Um, Fire in the Sky is also a great card. Fire in the Sky is actually one of the cards I'm looking for whenever I'm gaining power. It has Sun, Fire, and Air. Um, generates two fear, which I think supplements. I, I honestly think you need some some fear supplement, supplements um, in this matchup. Like even though Thunder Speaker has a lot of firepower, um, I think just hitting buildings uh, actually isn't enough to beat England six. Like I do need. I do think you need some sort of fear generation as well. Um, so Fire in the Sky is one of those. Portents of Disaster is another one, but um, I chose Spawn with Words of Fire instead. So here, I I don't have enough. I have zero energy left after this, and I'm looking for something with Sun and Fire, and I don't have that. I don't have another zero-cost card that um, is Sun and Fire. So um, Coastal Lands are going to build. So even if I get rid of, even if I get rid of these, both of these towns in the wetlands, I do need like it's just going to build a town again and then ravage. So I'm trying to figure out how to do this because I have words of warning, so I can do a defense, and that's ideally what I want is two defense cards. But um, fire in the sky is. I think a necessary card to get if you're going to beat England six, um, and then I mean, Call of Isolation is just a great card to to have that synergizes with Dahan and has all of those has all of those elements you want. I don't know if I ever go into major powers in this playthrough. Uh, I mean, there there's like vigor. Of the Breaking Dawn, and then there's the other Dahan major power that's like deal one per Dahan and then defend per Dahan. But I do think that Thunder Speaker, like Manifestation of Power and Glory, is kind of your your major power that you start with, uh, in my opinion. Um, so I think you're just trying to fish for all of these like really good minor powers. Um, mostly because your your second and eight also kind of acts like a major power if you can get a bunch of Dahan together. Um, and your minor powers also has like blight removal. It has defends that synergize with Dahan. So I usually am just going for minor powers here. Yeah, so I'm taking my time. I think this actually is a pretty long turn because I'm like, how am I going to deal with the coastal lands building and then wetlands ravaging? Um, so I for sure need to get rid of, like I have one of them dealt with, but I, I am seeing whether I can do something Because I don't think I can, yeah, there, there's just too many buildings next to both the wetlands, so I think that I just have to abandon one of them. Uh, probably the top wetlands, I'll just have to abandon that and get a Blighted Island, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, but I guess that's just the nature of facing England.
So I'm deciding to go into this corner jungles. I, I think I'm deciding between like pushing the town with Call to Isolation out of the sands versus just moving just moving the Dahan into England kind of preemptively for next. Yeah, so I end up I am deciding to push this this town outside of the sands. So I think you only have to pay for sacred sites that have invaders in them as well. So I have the elusive ambushes is a good pull also. Um, I have the uh, oh, and then I get I, I think this is a fear card, so I get a defense in that top wetlands, which is. Um, really, really fortunate. All right, so I am, like some of my long-term goals is to get up to the sun on top, the top track, um, or the four card plays. But because I have Sprawn with words of fire, I can kind of use that as a way to get up to four card plays anyways. So I think I'm more inclined to go up on the top track and get the get the sun. Um, yeah, so you can see that with these cards, I can get to that um, third tier of uh, my innate So trying to figure out how to deal with these lands. Um, I have a defend with elusive ambushes that I really want. And then I have a second defend with a word of warning. So jungles are ravaging. And then I also have manifest manifestation of power and glory, which is a, a nuke that I would like to put into the sands. But I don't like lead the furious assault also like will kill a uh, a town and city so i think i'm trying to figure out how to best use both manifestation of power and glory and lead the furious assault um like to to the best of my ability because like elusive ambushes i have in there to um, I have that as a defend four so the reason I play that is to ca take care of that one jungles um, I have words of warning for the bottom jungle and then I think I would like to use manifestation of power and glory elsewhere and I think that's what I'm, I'm realizing is like, I have, I have a bunch of effects, but I'm trying to figure out, cause I could deal, like I'm trying to figure out how, how to best use everything. Um, so I switched to drought and the reason that I switched to drought, I think is because elusive ambushes becomes kind of redundant if I don't need the defend in the coastal jungles. So I'm dividing up so I can target um, target lands with Dahan. Um, yeah, manifestation of power and glory, I think, unfortunately, won't be used to its full potential. Yeah, 
And I, I maybe should have pushed that town into, into the sands, which has Dahan in my presence that I could have used manifestation of power and glory. Um, so I think that might have been a misplay on my part. Like, I think I should have pushed the town into the sands. Yeah, because I, I just waste the manifestation of power and glory in the corner jungle. Um, so I think I should have done it in the other one. Okay, we are at tier, or terror level three. Um, we do have five blight left. We're looking pretty good. Mountains is a problem because, well, mountains and jungles, I guess, because like mountains ravage, then build, and so it's going to ravage again. Jungles are going to build twice and then ravage. So I am kind of in that, like once it gets to stage three, invaders it starts to get kind of dicey um and so you can kind of see like thunder speaker i think can pretty easily get to terror level three i do think once stage three invader cars start coming out though um it starts going downhill from there uh so you need to be pretty close. Cycles of Time and Tide is a great card. Um, adds to Han and removes Blight from the coast. Uh, but Encompassing Ward is also good. Um, Sky stretches to, uh, what is it called? It makes a slow power fast. So that one's actually, I think, a pretty clutch card to get. It has Sun and Air. Um, Sky stretches to the shore. Yeah, so like I could combo that with Manifestation of Power and Glory. Uh, but I don't have enough energy to play everything I want to. I'm trying to figure out how to get to tier three of my other innate. So what I'm, what I'm looking at right now is how to deal with that middle mountain. Okay, Elusive Ambushes gives me Defend 4. Okay, Fire in the Sky, you can see its usefulness there. Just deal with that Corner Mountains. I have 4 Air to gather 4 to Han. Okay, yeah, great. So I, I kill two towns in a city and then called isolation. I could push out um, all that stuff. So both dealt with, uh, and I could think about, well, I think Elusive Ambushes is redundant here. So I probably want to go back and play something else. Um, Yeah, I, I'm not sure if I could have played something different that had fire and air, potentially. Maybe drought. And um, maybe drought would have been a better a better card to play here because then I could have um, taken care of the cities in or the that top wetlands. All right, uh, jungles are an issue. Trying to decide what to do here as far as growth options, because I do have, I'm deciding whether to go up to sun or, um, well, I guess, I guess I need the energy. 
Um, I reclaim Sky Stretcher to the, to the shore to combo with Manifestation of Power and Glory. I need, well, with this combination of cards, I need Animal, Sun, and Fire. Animal, Sun, Fire, which I don't think I currently have. So that bottom jungles isn't blighted, but mountains build and then ravage is not great. I don't think this is... All right, but yeah, I, I I don't think this is the best because like even if I get rid of the town, it's gonna build again. Um, and the counterattack, like I would have, I would want to move. I would want to move to Han around in order to kind of maximize both manifestation of power and then also lead the furious assault. So, I'm not too sure what to do here. I think it's it's safe to let the corner mountains blight. I think I do want to take care of. I do want to take care of the middle mountains, and then the coastal jungles is going to be an issue. So I, I'm rethinking what I'm playing because I do think, yeah, the the things I really need to be wary of are the coastal jungles and the mountains or the middle mountains right now. I guess I reclaim just because um, I think just getting one card back isn't going to help that much. Um, these are all great cards. Honestly, Call of Frosty is zero cost. Purifying Flame uh, has is another card with Sun, Fire, and Air. Also removes a Blight. Super useful. I could use, I could combo this into Call to Isolation to get all of the elements that I need. So I think the idea is elusive ambushes into the coastal jungles. Um, maybe words of warning I, I'm also thinking about generating fear here. So I, I do like fire in the sky as an option. It's too fear and defensive. Okay, so fire in the sky gives all the elements that I want. Let's see what the plan is. I could also push and then, well, I don't have words of warning. So I think, I think the plan is elusive ambushes into the coastal jungle. So I need to get a Dahan into there.
and then I have four sons, so I can push out. Oh, interesting. Okay, so I'm doing Fierce Assault in the Coastal, and then I'm getting the Dahan out of the jungle. And then Fire in the Sky, I could maybe put in... I mean, what's showing up? Jungle's showing up again, so I mean, Sands are showing up also. Not sure where the ideal place to put that strife would have been. Get a couple of unfortunate blight effects. All right, three blight left. Uh, jungles, <laughs> jungles are not great, but I have only five fear left. Um, so I'm definitely capable of generating five fear. A um, couple ways I could do that is um, Fire in the Sky does three. I could use my innates each with, uh, I could use my innate to kill a town would be one fear and then a city would be another two fear. So, um, it comes at it comes at a good time, so I think the idea is maybe fire in the sky. Um, or maybe just the same cards, just to be able to kill that city. I think what I'm thinking of right now is making manifestation of power and glory fast with sky stretches to the shore, um, but that doesn't these combination of cars doesn't give me animal to get into position to really use um, manifestation of power and glory to its full effect so I guess the idea here is Sprawn with Words of Fire to get Sun and Animal. And then, yeah, I have everything I need. For, uh, to get five fear. I think I'm just making sure but should be fine. Yeah, uh, thanks for watching.